Hello and welcome to another video in our series covering interesting business intelligence trends. In this video, we'll describe a new approach to integrating different BI architectures. My name is Martin Kretke and I'm one of the directors of Managility, a business intelligence solution provider based in Sydney, Australia. Um, business intelligence users currently typically deal with three types of data storage. Um, relational, which is best suited for transactional flexible analysis. Uh, multidimensional, which um, is typically suited if um, write-back is required, um, simulations, if you want to um, implement more advanced calculation and you're interested in changing dimensions, um, e.g. Uh, adding new elements or, or changing hierarchies. And more recently, um, we are seeing the integration of external uh, web service provided in the cloud, for example, for providing uh, data that adds value to your internal data, like for example, temperature data, population data, or economic indicators. Um, the integration of these different sources typically is uh, a challenging task that involves extensive efforts in writing ETL processes, um, i.e. the loading and transformation of data in an integrated view. Um, what we have developed now to address is a solution that allows you to integrate the different data sources in a very simple way and I would like to quickly demonstrate how this works. Let's start the demo with a look at a typical OLAP cube orientated use case. Here we are using the JEDOX OLAP server and the Biker demo data model to demonstrate a typical write back and modeling scenario. At the moment here we see um, an entry sheet for units for a um, uh, new budget period and the actual units in 2008 were 164,000. Let's assume for the budget in 2009 we want to use the existing uh, volumes from 2008 so we copy the 2008 data and we're assuming a 10% uh, increase in units and let's say we also want to introduce a new product that we want to add to the bike range So for this new product, let's say we're planning um, for a customer in Austria, um, 199 units. So as overall total, we have now a budget of 181,000 um, units. This demo um, showcases uh, the powers that um, a model-oriented OLAP solution has with um, easy write-back and, and uh, intelligent distribution scenarios. But the challenge is now how to synchronize this data with an enterprise, enterprise data warehouse or allow connection to other reporting solutions. Typically, this uh, requires the development of more or less complex ETL processes, extra extraction, transformation and loading, that can be quite time consuming. To address this problem, Managility has developed a new solution framework that automatically updates all of data with relational databases and warehouse solutions. So what we can see here now is the interface of the Managility PowerSync, um, a framework um, for a Windows-based server solution. Um, so here you can specify you know, your relational database details, your JEDOX details. In addition to that, you can do search and uh, restore operations which is greatly facilitated as here you can use um, the actual element names as opposed to the machine IDs that are typically stored 
in the log files. So the only thing left to do here now is to start um, the synchronization process with the relational database and you can either do this just exporting the metadata, just exporting the log files, so um, the data entries that have happened in a particular session, um, the cube data or the calculations. Um, the other option here is um, you can also do transformations for uh, client solutions, for example, to transform the typical parent-child um, dimensions into level-based dimensions that are required in Microsoft in the Microsoft BI framework. After the power syn synchronization process, which was either manually triggered or scheduled to run at specific intervals, all the data of the cubes, including data directly entered by end users and model changes, are now in a standard relational database with the benefit of a wide variety of front-end choices. For example, Power Pivot, a free Microsoft add-in available in Excel 2010 and 2013. Power Pivot enables effective analysis on large data sources with up to 100 million rows in the familiar Excel environment, as well as data mashups, i.e. the integration of external data sources provided by third party. So what we see here now is the relational model generated uh, by PowerSync of the biker demo model um, in JEDOX. So all the um, dimensions and the, the main fact table are here now. And from here we can now uh, immediately start a simple analysis. For example, generate a pivot chart and X is now um, our cube data. So for example, we can take the units, um, take the product dimension and potentially filter um, on actual and budget data and probably as a final choice, um, a filter on the years. With Excel, with Excel 2013, you get now nice features like a drill down, where you can drill from higher levels into lower levels, um, to analysis, for example, just on the top 10 um, products, and um, a few other nice features. So this just as an example of uh, an external um, solution that can now sit on the JEDEX data. The next thing that I would like to demonstrate is a data mashup, so the integration and the link of your data with um, third-party sources, third-party data sources, particularly ones in the cloud. This is particularly easy um, in Excel 2013 with a um, feature called Power Query. So here we can now, for example, search for population data and link our own sales data with the population to find out how successful were our sales by population of the country. So we now see this um, source looks pretty good. So we've added um, this source now into our model and that is now part um, of the data model. The only thing that we need to do is we need to link the new table to our data model. And in our case, this is quite easy because in both cases we've got countries. So we just drag the link here from country to country and now have this relationship. And once we have this relationship, um, we can now define a calculation, for example, using the data model from before and um, replacing the units with a calculation that calculates the sales by population which probably makes more sense on the country. So we take the country away here and use the, the uh, sorry, we take the product away and use the country. So we put the country here. And now we can see in what countries we are particularly success, successful, successful. For example, um, do a ranking on the top 10 and then um, sort them by um, by the uh, uh, data field. So now we see Andorra is the most successful sales territory um, based on the uh, relative score to population and we've got Luxembourg, Ireland and Finland. So a nice way of easily linking internal and external sources. I would like to conclude this um, video with a quick um, demo on 
Power View. Power View, another new feature uh, in Excel 2013. So uh, what we see here now is a blank Power View canvas. And the Power View allows now that users can very easily define their own interactive dashboards. So here again, the, uh, the JEDEX cube that was synchronized into a relational um, database from by PowerSync. And now we can take, for example, the units, show those by product category, and maybe do um, a comparison based on um, the data type and convert this entire thing, this table into a into report. So we've got now a nice um, comparison here of actual and budget data where we can now compare our actual and budget scenarios and then maybe add another one where we say we would like to see the units also based on a uh, map. So we create an, another object here in PowerView um, with our sales units but we want to see those now by country and convert this into a map. So now PowerView has automatically generated a map where we can now view our data based on the geographic location. For example, if you click on a particular country here, we automatically see the results in this particular country. So those elements are cross dependent. And then finally, um, we can add um, a filter so that we can also analyze here by particular years and we can either um, show those years um, as a combination so here we show the data from 2008 to 2009 but we can also say we want to just see particular years so for example just the 2009 budget or both combined the actual and the budget so I hope um, you've enjoyed this quick uh, demonstration um, PowerSync uh, will be released um, at the end of 2013. If you're interested to participate um, in early uh, customer programs or if you're interested um, to use this for your consulting projects, please don't hesitate to contact us um, at Managerly. Thank you very much and goodbye from Australia. Mm -hmm.